It's numbers with filler words. That's all it is. And, and I think what makes a good auctioneer is the guy that can say the numbers and the filler words and be clear. My name is Andy Bowmeister. We're in Lampasas, Texas at Lampasas Cattle Auction. We've owned this for four years and uh, we try and sell as many cattle as we can. I'm first generation auctioneer. Always been infatuated with it. Grew up in Catlin, Illinois, just a little old town. Grandpa and I, we went to the sales all the time. I just, I love it. And, and always wanted to be an auctioneer. When I was little, I can remember uh, my grandpa and I going to the barn, messing with the horses and it'd be too wet to ride outside or something like that. And we had a little pen there in the barn and we'd have us a horse sale. He'd sit up on the fence and auctioneer and I'd lead it around and then we'd take turns. I'd get up and auctioneer and and that started from, shoot, a little bitty. The first time I sold was when I was 12 at uh, the local horse sale up there in Danville, Illinois. And I sold a saddle rack and it brought $18. I'll, I'll never forget that. Uh, when I was 21, went to auctioneer school. I had steady jobs, I guess, probably started in about 2011. Started selling at a few barns and then now we've bought this barn here. So, been here four years. Everybody will ask, what, what do you say? It started as who bid? A dollar and then who bid two? But now it's all in popping my tongue. So now it's 81, one of the nine of the nine, two, two, three, eighty bid on four, eighty four, one of the nine five. Doesn't really sound like who bid anymore. It's all in just popping my tongue and a rhythm and keeping that rhythm, and that's what keeps things going. I think a lot of people think, well, they mumble their words so they can get more money without the buyer knowing or something, and th and that's not it. We talk so fast because we want to keep interest. It, it can get boring. One dollar, would you give me two dollars? No, we got to keep this thing upbeat and keep things aggressive. So that's why they do go to talking fast and, and keep things rolling and keep an upbeat pace for the competition. It, it's true price discovery and competitive bidding is what makes things bring the most money. So you get two people wanting the same item and, and you get them fighting over it, that's what you're going for. The first time I competed in the WLAC, which is the World Livestock Auctioneering Contest, uh, was in 2018. The WLAC is through the LMA, Livestock Marketing Association. They say that's kind of the daddy of auctioneer contests. Always wanted to go. You have to be selling at a livestock auction to be able to go. Not anybody can enter. I went to my first qualifier in Holdenville, Oklahoma. Did not make the top 10. I went to another one the fall of 19 in Nebraska, didn't make it. And then went to Virginia and finally made it. And then that's when COVID hit. So we had to take a whole year off. So 21 is when we went to Nashville, done the big one in Nashville. And then uh, qualified again in Virginia for 22. Um, and then this year we had the qualifier in Longview and qualified to go to Florida. I've got two boys and they've both got up on the block and played around. Now the little one, he's kind of like me. He cuts up a lot and jokes and he, he says he wants to be an auctioneer. He went with me to the auctioneer contest in Longview. He likes it. Um, actually at our last sale of the year before the Christmas break, he sold the last cow through the ring at the last sale, so that, that was cool. I love sitting up there and, and um, like I say, I just can't even express, it's just a great feeling. I and mean, I'm sure it's the same as a rock star when they go out on the stage and they go to singing. That's just, they love to sing. I love the auctioneer. The rapid chant, the competitive bidding, the true price discovery. That's kind of been the biggest thing for me is how much can I make this thing bring? Uh, no matter if it's a $5 T-Post or a $50,000 tractor, how much can we make it bring to bay? <laughs>